Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Game Feed. My name, of course, is Panto6, and today we're going to talk about the CSGO Lottery. Uh, this will not be a long video. This is pretty much something you've probably heard other people talk about, but I figured I'd just give my opinion on it and what I think of the matter at hand. Uh, now, if you guys are not um, brought up to speed, uh, there is this website called CSGO Lottery, which was actually owned and operated by T. Martin and Pro Syndicate. Uh, basically, these big YouTubers uh, made some videos saying they discovered this site and would post their big winnings. And um, you can basically sell skins and whatnot and try to. It's a lottery. It's a fucking lottery. And you can make money, you can lose a lot of money. And basically, these two YouTubers did not disclose, but they owned this company. And uh, now it's. It's a big thing. It's a big thing. They got caught, and uh, now the whole company is getting sued. Um, it's causing problems on Steam, and yeah, it's it's bad. It's not a good thing. It's not a good thing because uh, you know if you're a part of a company and you're you're making videos for said company, you need to disclose. But hey, I run this company instead of making false. Um, videos saying you have nothing to do with it and that's exactly what these guys did and um, now they're getting sued which that's a good thing because you know we don't need that kind of shit in the gaming community we don't need you know you know this really shady business side just catching people off guard and especially when these two people can actually can control the outcome of the biddings which you know it's a lottery but you know you can't allow kids to play the lottery, but kids are playing the lottery, basically. And, you know, there's been cases where kids has went on this site, uh, traded skins, lost a lot of money, and now they're getting sued. Not just by, you know, gamers in general, but this may actually cause a lot of other problems. Um, may, possibly with Steam itself and Valve. You know, this is, this is a big deal. This is actually a really big deal. And, you know, there's a lot of people who has some strong opinions about it. And, you know, as a person that's not huge into CSGO, and I've dabbled with it. I've, you know, I've got the game, bought it on release. I've been playing Counter-Strike for a little while. Um, and my favorite thing to do is play offline with bots. So, you know, the skins thing doesn't really do anything for me. You know, I've unlocked a couple cases, and I've never pulled anything big. And, you know, I don't really care about skins. But some people really do. People take that shit seriously. And to go on a website and try to, you know, <laughs> try to make money off these things. And there's a good chance you might lose. And that's any type of lottery or gambling, which this is what this is. This is gambling. This is big, big, big gambling. Because you can, like I said, lose a lot of money, gain a lot of money. And, you know... I understand. I understand you want to have your own business, and that's cool. That's really cool. But the way they tackled it, especially the T. Martin um, <laughs> posting videos stating, you know, it was morally wrong but not illegal. It, well, this is on his deleted tweet, uh, but he said it on something on his life state of, uh, this was morally wrong but not illegal. I'm pretty sure underage kids gambling is illegal. Can't let a 12-year-old go into a casino and gamble. <coughs> you might be saying, well, that's not the same thing. This is a video game. And it's still gambling. No matter how you look at it, it's gambling. And the fact that these guys covered it up and made it look like something that wasn't theirs, that's even more wrong. And, you know, I'm kind of tired of this, like, shady, misleading things in gaming. It doesn't really help anything. If anything, it makes things look terrible. You know, we get a lot of flack anyways, you know, either from the politicians saying we're angry, violent killers, uh, the Gamergate stuff where sexist, uh, white, angry men that hate women, and the list goes on. This is just another thing to add to it. Um, and that's something I don't like to see. I don't like to see my community, it's something I love, divided. I don't want to see things like that. And... You know, I kind of hope that this does get taken care of, the punishment. You know, these people should be punished. They should be punished for this. Uh, I mean, this is a crime. Either way you look at it, it's a crime. It's something, you know, it's gambling. Young people lost money. 
you know, you probably made some money off of it. I've never used this site personally. Um, it's a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Whenever I created the bits and pieces thing, where I wanted to create a store, I was absolutely, um, I told you guys exactly how it was going to work. You know, that thing is canceled, but that was something, you know, I gave you guys full disclosure on what that would be, but these people did not, from as far as I can tell. And it took a lot of digging from, you know, other gamers, Redditors, and, you know, gaming journals to like to figure out exactly what the hell's going on. Uh, this will be a really exciting thing to see what happens in the following weeks, rather when this goes into court or whatever happens, but there is a, a lawsuit. This is including Valve and Counter-Strike as a whole. So it's hard to tell what will happen to Pro Syndicate and Trev Martin, but I'm pretty sure I butchered his name. It's T. Martin. But um, yeah. Not good. Not good at all. Not good. Um, but yeah, that's how I feel about it. Nothing big. Nothing really huge. Um, but as we're speaking right now, I am currently uploading the Let's Play of Lawbreakers. Uh, that's, and it's awesome. It's PC Alpha um, that's going on right now. Uh, it's, I played a little bit of it, so you guys will be able to see that. And let's go ahead and get this clear. You're watching me play it for the first time. I don't own that company. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. I, you know, my opinion is probably just like anybody else's. But I'd like to share my opinion with these guys. Uh, as always, I hope you should like and subscribe, help this channel grow. And yeah, just let me know what you think about it. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of awesome opinions about it. And just, you know, have at it. Have at it on the comments section. Love you guys and take it easy.